Well, went to town to uh, pick up a telephone and some cat food and um, had to get the, uh, the beloved uh, a lecture going to town. I tell you one thing, if there is a, way, a will and a way that I can get my damn car fixed, I'm going to get the damn thing fixed because I'm not riding around with people and hearing lectures. If I want to hear a damn lecture, I'll go down to the college. See, apparently I posted some stuff on Facebook, and it's been ongoing for a while, and um, apparently I'm pinpointing out people, uh, family members on Facebook, and, and that just upsets people. And some of my previous posts on Facebook, people found offensive. Well, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Don't like what I post on Facebook, you can always hit the unfriend button. You know, I limit what I do post on Facebook. Like, I don't share hardly any political posts or stuff because I know the backlash from other people on Facebook. Who the hell cares who's, who or what someone voted for? And if you're going to sit there and find it offensive because somebody voted for somebody that you didn't vote for, you know, that's your problem, not mine. You want to start, i tell you, some topics that will start an argument. Religion, politics, favorite sports team, and your favorite kind of mayonnaise. That's a fourth thing is just an argument. And I'll give you my point, point of views on all four of those subjects, okay? Religion. I don't go to church because the churches I have been to, there's a lot of hypocrites that goes there. Politics. I think it's all a bunch of bullshit. Sports. I don't watch sports. And my favorite kind of mayonnaise is Duke's damn mayonnaise. In my opinion, that's the only kind of mayonnaise there is. But if you want to sit there and put Miracle Whip on your sandwich, that's fine and good. Eat a whole case of Miracle Whip. If that brings you pleasure, that's fine. I'm not going to sit and judge you because you eat Miracle Whip. Just don't put none on my sandwich is all I ask. I mean... Simple as that. Tired of this. You got to get all twisted and turned around because you don't agree with what somebody says. Well, that's freedom of speech. And closed-minded people. Oh, I'm sure somebody will see this and share it with somebody else. And it'll cause a family argument. And I'm not mentioning names. But that, this just the drama that I go through with. I think very few people that I know watches my YouTube content anyway that's related to family. But I've just had enough of it. Maybe I can go in here and rant and express my damn self and maybe it won't piss too many people off. If it does piss people off, they can always, you know, not watch the videos. I don't care. You know, I certainly can't get on Facebook apparently and express my opinion. I posted things in the past that offended people. Well, big deal. I see plenty of shit when I've scrolled through Facebook and shit that I didn't care to see and that I didn't even care about. I've even seen something that offended me and I just keep scrolling. You know, I don't like comment, say shit about it. I don't have to go and make an angry red face emoji. I can let it go. 
Because I don't care. Just like the first time I pay in my house. I pay in my house mint green. A lot of people didn't care for it. Think I gave a shit? No. You know, I could sit and find things to nitpick about too that it bothered me, but I don't. I have people that live behind me that have loud vehicles. I could sit and, and, and get all tore up and pissed about it, but ain't nothing I can do about it. Who cares? Learn to live with it. Get over it. You know, used to, they'd sit there and, and shoot off guns and everything else. Yeah, pretty close to my house. You know, I was kind of concerned. Never had a problem with any of them hitting, shooting my house. So I just really didn't care. They're on their property. They can do whatever they want to. Just like it's my Facebook page, I can do what the hell I want to on it. You don't like it, get the hell over it. Just like I sit here and talk to the cat. That's my that's my prerogative. I want to sit and talk to my damn cat, I will. If I wanted to sit here and talk to the door, I'd sit here and talk to the damn door. How you doing today, door? How have you been? Just like people that go to church every time the doors are open. I don't care if they go to church. That's their deal. Now the cat's trying to talk. I mean, I don't care what people do. Want to see and find a problem with what I do? That Then apparently you got too much damn time on your hands. I don't care if what I posted offended somebody. I don't care. Who the hell cares? Why should it be anybody's business that I go in the store and bought a 10 pound bag of Nine Lives cat food? Well, there's another cheaper brand out there. Who the hell cares? My cat has ate Nine Lives ever since she was a kitten. I have no reason to change the brand of food that she eats. She likes it, she eats it, and she don't complain about it. Just like I bought a $4.87 stick of deodorant. I like Old Spice deodorant. I like the smell of it. I don't give a shit about a speed stick or a freaking arm and hammer or whatever else deodorant is out there. I don't wear that kind. Be worrying about what I buy. Worry about what... God. That's the problem with this country. The whole problem with the world. Everybody's too concerned about what someone else is doing. And if they don't like what that other person's doing, they're going to uh, start something with them. Just like case in point in the store. A gang of kids acting like a damn bunch of idiots. Running around, hooting, hollering, grabbing shit off the shelf. In my mind, I said, damn, they need to bust them kids' eyes. I didn't walk up to the parents and say, you need to bust a child's ass. You need to do this. You need to do that. 
No, because that's not my business. That's the problem with people. Now, if I saw a parent sit there and slap their child right to the face, you know, and knock the child into the floor, yeah, I might step up and say something. You know, there's a time and a place for everything. But I guess really what I'm trying to say is, is if somebody has a problem with me or something that I say or something that I do, and it bothers you so bad that it upsets you, you know, I don't care what you do. You can not ever speak to me ever again. I don't care. Because that's the way that I feel with the shit anymore. You know, I, I see it that I can't tell how many times I've been around people and hear them sit and just rant and rave about something they see on the television, on the news. I don't watch the news in my house. I don't care for the news. Never have. You know, unless it's something that's gonna that's gonna, you know, have some kind of effect on me, I don't care about it. You know, the local news a while back posting this story about how all these protesters was protesting because they was going to build a hotel, you know, it wasn't close by here, but it was somewhere. These protesters were protesting about the city going to build a hotel and these people didn't want to build another hotel in their city. You know, you get out there protesting, act like a damn fool, it's not going to change that developer's mind that spent hundreds of millions of dollars you know, to build their damn hotel, you're not going to change their mind. I've never known a developer to go, oh no, oh my God, these people are protesting. Just stop the whole damn thing. I spent a hundred thousand dollars, you know, uh, in, in pre in the construction and development of this land. Oh, just stop every damn thing. We're going to cancel it. We're not going to build this hotel here. Hell no. You know, just like years ago, there was a building with some historical significance to it in town. Not this town, but the town I used to live in. And I stepped in and thought that I could, you know, get enough names on a petition to help maybe get the city to help give the guy that owned the building some money to fix it up so they wouldn't have to be demolished. Well, guess what? I might have got maybe a hundred signatures and it was only even on the news talking about it and they ended up tearing the building down anyway. Did you see my ass up there chain myself to the fans going, you ain't gonna tear the building down? No. I didn't. Cause I couldn't do anything. There was nothing I could do. I go up there and stand in front of the damn bulldozer, but what would that got me? Throw it up there in the big house. But people just want to nag about every damn thing. People don't want to mind their own damn business. And I'm sure a lot of you people are going to act, well, damn, you're telling your business all over YouTube. I don't care. I'm just telling you how I feel about it. It's what I'm doing. If people's offended something that I say or what I do I can't control that I'm not going to sit here and go oh well I'm I'm just so sorry that you don't agree with what I agree with but uh, I, I might change my ways no forget it something else that I'm sure a lot of people don't know I'm bisexual you want to sit here and argue with me about shit with 
uh, stuff like that and 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 shit. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to you. You, you shit or got the pot. I don't care. I don't need someone to sit and lecture me on what's morally right because I don't care. I get so sick of sitting around when people's watching the damn news and want to argue and 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 bitch about the at the television. Because they don't agree with the laws or something that they pass for transgender people. What good is you saying a bitch at that damn television going to do for you? Might make you feel better. Hell, I don't know. Why in the hell did you sit and worry about it? Go live your own damn life. Do whatever you want to do. You're going to do it any damn way. Don't sit and worry about what other people want to do. So what if the woman has a family bathroom? What is that to you? Don't go in the damn family bathroom then. I don't care. You go shit out in the woods for all I care. I can offend it over the least little damn thing. I'm tired of it. Oh, that place supports equal rights. I won't go there to eat. Or I won't go there to shop. Who the hell cares? That's your damn, that's your problem. I'm tired of it. So damn tired of hearing about how what I say or say, I say to me to offend somebody. I don't care anymore. I just don't. Anyway, they all want to sit and say something. They go ahead. Ugh. I'm tired. <laughs> I got to go in and try to hook that damn telephone up. Got to run that freaking wire somewhere through here. But anyway. That's how my day's been. Crazy as hell as usual. <laughs> oh well. Well, I decided to share the moment and uh, I hope I didn't offend anyone. You know. Sure I'll find out if a couple people dislike the video. You know. I don't really care. If it offends you, move on. Just like if you eat something that you don't like, don't sit there and eat it. Go to some, find something that you like to eat. Case in point, I can't stand the smell or the taste of, of damn hominy. You want my pee on harmony? Fuck harmony. Now I'll sit and eat corn on the cob or grits. But plain harmony? Hell no. I ain't gonna eat that shit. <laughs> you know. I'm not gonna go protest the damn Juanita Harmony Company. I just ain't gonna eat it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Later.